For those who don't know him, there's a TikTok comedian by the name of Scars. And if you don't know him by his name, you'll know him as the guy who says game is game. Game is game. He just so happens to be one of my favorite TikTok comedians. And some people call him a comedian. Some people call him a philosopher. And some people call him a life coach. If I was to date a trans and I don't, I don't date trans at all, mm -hmm. you would have to do a lot of shit. Like if you want to be a man and a woman, you're going to be cooking my dinner and you're going to be digging the fucking holes outside. Like, since you want to play both roles, you better fucking be a good clean, a person who can clean the fuck up out the house, and you also better be a good fucking mechanic. You better be the one who got to go downstairs and check on shit at night, and you better be the one who decorate the goddamn house with flowers. If you want to take on both roles, you got to do both jobs. It's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. Now, obviously, his life advice is for comedic purposes, but the thing that makes it so funny is it would probably work if you were just a bad person. How to make a big bitch lose weight. Look, guys. Just because you decide to be with a big bitch long term, don't mean long term, she gotta be a big bitch. So hear me out. When you out in public, I want you to pay somebody $5 to walk up to her and ask her if she's pregnant. And then pay somebody $10 to walk by her and say, damn bitch. And then pay somebody 15 to go up to her and say, damn you a big pregnant bitch. <laughs> It'll take the pressure off of you and the weight off of her. Another thing you can do is, when you go on vacation, buy her fat two airline seats just for herself. The bigger she is, the deeper it'll cut. Another thing you can do is take her on a bunch of activities that fat bitches don't like doing, like beach volleyball or rock climbing or standing up from a seated position. Another thing you can do is when she gone, narrow all your door frames by one foot and watch her fat ass try to squeeze through when she come home. Another thing you can do is weaken one of the steps in your house and when she go up the stairs and she fall through, tell her fat ass to go lay down, but weaken her bed frame first. Trust me, it'll work. Game is game. Well, apparently during a live stream, Scars was hit by his girlfriend. And I can't show the full video because of YouTube policy, but for the most part, you can't see anything anyway. Now, if you follow Scars' content, this isn't really surprising because his girlfriend has a history of hitting him and breaking his property. <laughs> hey, chill, chill, chill. No, don't be going, don't be looking sad now, hell. I ain't pull your motherfucking hair out your mother head you pull my hair out of my motherfucking head don't be sitting there looking all fucking sad now nigga you see me goddamn putting on that performance because oh shit oh shit oh shit boy ain't no way boy boy ain't no way boy pow right in the kitchen hold on wait one second one second come here i know we not finna do this shit right now really i'm saying you go ahead and go then go ahead and go chat I swear to God, my right hand to motherfucking God. This bitch just broke my car window, nigga. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. My backseat window, nigga. Man. Bro. I swear to motherfucking God. Chat, I'm finna end the stream, bro. I'm finna end it. What? Holy fuck, bro. Man, fuck this stream and shit, bro. Fuck this shit. I holla y'all, nigga. Now, almost every man knows that if a man and a woman is in a domestic dispute, no matter what the woman does to the man, if the police are called, there's like a 95% chance the man is going to be the one that goes to jail. Lock his ass up. Lock his ass up. You're going to jail. You're, You're going, going to jail. jail. When Scars was released, he wanted to clear the air and take responsibility, so he went on a live stream to explain the situation to Aiden. Now, I'm not saying that what he did was right, but from his explanation, I understand. And I wanted to know the other uh, context behind everything. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, it is what it seemed like. Yeah, I beat that bitch ass. You know, it ain't no secret. It ain't no secret. Listen here, Aiden. Bro, I, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, that shit felt so fucking good, bro. I don't know if you know what happened, but we was on monkey and shit. And we was looking, we was trying to get to show us. And boy, I'm telling you, we had this uh this Mexican bitch, and she wound up pulling out her and shit, had something the juicy. And the bitch who I was with, she didn't like it. So she started hitting me and shit. And I said, Aiden. It's gonna be the last time a bitch fuck up my goddamn stream. And so I went fucking postal. I'm talking about straight Deontay Wilder on the bitch, nigga. I didn't fucking stop. Man. You're going to jail, bitch! I do. Mm -hmm. I fuck with a lot of black bitches. You know, black bitches are bigger, stronger. They hit harder. All right? I, um, the first couple of licks, it might not hurt. But that don't stop a bitch from grabbing a pen, grabbing a fucking broken bottle, or grabbing a knife and stabbing the shit out of you. Really? Whenever you feel like... Oh, no. Nah. Trust me, bro. I seen it plenty of times where a small bitch have left some serious damage on a bigger nigga because he tried to hold his old macho ass. I ain't gonna hit no bitch back ass goddamn persona, and that winds up welling on him. 
Now, I'm going to let him finish because he does say more in the video. But what he's saying right now is absolutely right. When you're getting hit by a person that's angry and you don't take them serious because you know that they're weaker than you, once they realize you're not going to hit them back, they start doing all kinds of egregious shit just because they want to hurt you. And I'm also going to say this. If a man is hitting a woman, especially if it's unprovoked, that is bullying because he knows that she can't defend herself. With that being said, if a woman is hitting a man that she knows is stronger than her but is not willing to hit her back and she's hitting him because she knows that he's not willing to hit her back, that is also bullying. Hey, then we got to stop doing this shit. We got too much power as it is. The last thing they need to do is act like they want to be men but then go back to being just when it come down to comeback. No, if you're going to be a man, you're going to be a man all the way. Fuck you talking about. Hey, then it ain't the same, dog. These bitches can't come out here saying... I'm a man. I make more money than you. I can do all this more than you. I can build just like you can. And then when you hit them, they be like, oh, shit, I'm a woman. That shit. Bitches deserve to get their ass whooped. Bro. It ain't just Aiden. It's bitches. It's kids, even toddlers. If anybody is putting their fucking hands on you and you tell them to stop and they keep doing it, you got the right to knock the shit out of well, them. Well, even if it's a fucking baby. No. All right. Come on. A baby, a two year a two-year-old baby. Is it ain't gonna be, be a four-year-old. If a four-year-old sitting up here hit you with a stick <laughs> over and over no. again, and you're like, "Hey, stop, little nigga," and like, he's still hitting you, stop, little nigga. No, no. You ain't got the right to grab that stick and knock the shit out of his no, ass. No, no, it. it's a baby, Men, bro. It's a baby. Oh, I I agree with discipline. I think if a child is. And of course he got into a little comedy at the end there And before I get into this rant I want to say of course nobody should be hitting anybody You should keep your hands to yourself With that being said What he's saying is right Equal rights mean equal fights If you a woman and you could do everything a man can do And when you get into an argument with a man You start hitting him like a man Don't try to act like a woman when you get hit back She knew she was a woman before she put her hands on that man And if she knew that man was stronger than her If she can't finish the fight Then don't be starting a fight I don't understand why if women know that men are physically stronger than them why are you poking the bear you don't see me going up to mike tyson trying to punch mike tyson because i know mike tyson gonna knock me out now i'm gonna reel it in a little bit here and be a little bit more practical guys have to remember that during domestic disputes and during family court men are guilty until proven innocent so if you have a woman that's hitting you as a man in 2024 you don't even have the right to defend yourself really the only thing you can do and probably the smartest thing to do in that situation is record the altercation so she can't can't lie about any false claims and just try to back up and get some help get police there as soon as possible guys gotta remember that when men are violent towards women they get arrested and word spreads pretty quickly that they're abusive but when women are abusive towards men they go from relationship to relationship sabotaging all of them and causing misery if you're dealing with a woman that can't control her emotions when she gets angry just make sure you go to her house when y'all start arguing so when she starts throwing stuff and breaking stuff it's all her stuff and not none of your stuff games games let me know in the comments below if this video was a WRL and give me the HBO special. That's a help brother out special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till next time.